Hey okay, guys, Josh here. So basically my last video, as I haven't been doing too many videos lately because I've been comparing my trip over to Amsterdam. You can see my bad boy laptops here ready to go. But anyways, enough about me. Let's talk about what I said last video about how using ults to get your gold means good gameplay. Basically means you can get a certain amount of gold per uh, per week. Okay, so you know how I said before that you know the markets are crashing at the moment where you may not make as much money, you know, honing your characters and stuff like that which means it's a good time to level up alts and to gear up alts at the same time. Now, the first check you need to probably hit is 1370. You can go beyond that once everything's 1370 to, to the next era, which is going to be 1400 to do all Argos's, or 1385 to do Argos phase two. And then you can go up to normal Voltan, then a normal Vikas, and it gives you ascertain of how much weekly gold you're going to get. Now, is it worth it in the long term? Most likely, okay, because the gold that you spend now um, the monthly gold that you get in will eventually pay that previous gold price off eventually, especially in cheap market such as this. So you want to, you know, do this sort of thing as well. Also, blue crystals have gone down as well to about 450. So it's probably ample time to do it. And given the fact that if your main is, you know, good enough for Vikas and also good enough for the next update, Cackle Sidon, it is most likely that you are not going to be spending too much gold in your main because you're going to be a lot of fails and a lot of money spent We you need this extra gold generation income weekly. Okay, trust me, you do. Now let's get to the planner here. Planner was provided by Reddit, and I think it's a really, really good plan overall. So overall, as I said before, you want to hit that 1370. The main 1370 you can get is you can get a quick 1.1k uh, gold if you don't skip the chest, okay? At the start, you won't skip the chest until you get your 5-set, your 1-set on your respective vaults. But afterwards, you can get 2.9k, okay? We're skipping the chest. So you can get a lot of gold pretty easily there. Sorry, I got it all wrong. So you get 900 from the first abyssal. 1,200 from the second abyss, so 800 from Argos. So you get 2.9k. If you skip the chest, you get more. Okay, if you skip the chest, you get 2.9k. If you don't skip the chest, you get, you know, basically 1.1k away, you get 1,800. Sorry for the confusion there. Uh, once you get 1,400, which you can do phase three, people will actually invite you for it, you get about 4.8k. So basically, it's an upgrade of about almost like 40% overall. Then once you hit Vault 10, Gate 1, it's a modest upgrade of 1,200 per week. But the real story comes when you hit 1430, when you can enter Vicus, normal Vicus. And normal Vicus is going to say gate 1 and gate 2 is pretty cruisy, and you've got to have good engravings, though. So it's going to require a bit more of an investment into your relic accessories. But if you keep some on your ult and stuff like that, it should be fairly easily. And also, not to mention, you've got to upgrade to your relic gear to do more damage, and that will go up to 9300. And then you get to 1445 when you can do hard mode Vault 10, and you can craft your relic gear, it will get up to 10.5k. Now, realistically, if you guys do not know, the honing practice stops at 1415, which means you don't get any extra bonuses after 1415, I believe. So maybe Voltan is probably going to be the next goal. Six grand per alt, 30k gold per week on your alt is pretty juicy, not going to lie. It's actually very, very good, you know, gold-wise, as long as, of course, you skip the chests. If you don't skip the chests, then it's a bit less. So you guys, you can see here that, you know, you can get a large chunk of your gold from Voltan. Voltan is probably one of the easiest instances where from normal you can get 3.3k and from hard you can get 4.5k gold. And those are fairly easy instances because the hard modes and the normal modes, there's no difference. And Voltan, you know, you can be busted and can be carried already. Vicus is probably going to be a hard one. So the upgrade from 1445, uh, 1430 to 1445 may not, uh, sorry, no, 1415 to 1430 may not be worth it despite the extra gold you get from Vicus. Because Vicus is a bit harder. But I think normal should be pretty cruisy for most of you as well. But overall, that's what that's what I was trying to say, guys, is that get your alts to higher eye levels. It's probably a cheap time to do so due to your honing that's being a lot less expensive. And basically, the, once you get 1 to 1370, you should aim to get the rest of them to 14,000 to get the extra gold from Argos. You can even put some of your support classes. All I'm going to say is get your support alts up to higher. I'm going to say, for example, get your bards and paladins up to 1415 because they always need bards and paladins and you can generate gold that way. And then gather up your DPS turns as you go up. The main issue with, with these alts as well is that you need to invest relic accessories into them as well. So if you get good relic accessories on your main, <coughs> main while doing Chaos Dungeons, you're going to have to give them to your alts and you may have to risk some stuff down the track as well because some of the dungeons, you need to meet really, really tough DPS checks. And with the, some of the DPS checks as well, with the support and with your DPS, you may need the best engravings that you can do, or you may even get rejected due to the fact you don't have 4x3 or 3x3, or not 4x3 or 5x3. 5x3 is a bit crazy and out there, but be aware of it as well. But this is, you know, how much gold you can realistically make. We'll put the thing back on the screen here as well to help you guys out on how much you can make over the, t over the course. But as I said before, if you get your alts to 1370, you get 2.9k. 
you do spend a lot. I believe I spent like 10k per alt to get them up to 1370 from 1340. But you know, you get 2.9k a week and that will easily, easily redeem your investment quite quickly. Especially if you get any good legendary items as well. And with Argos and stuff like that and the Abyssals, you'll get the upgrades. Okay, you'll get gear upgrades as well with the class mechanics being best of sort for most classes. You should be able to get 15 engravings from there. Once you hit 1400, you get double the gold effectively or not double the gold, 40% more gold. And it probably costs a bit more to upgrade as well because you're going to get basic arrays, which cost about 9 gold each, but you can make them yourself as well. Then once you get to the Vault End, you get a ton of gold. You get 6 grand. However, you don't get any gold from the Abyssals anymore. You have to do just one Vault End instead. And I'm going to say arguably, you know, probably the easier doing the Vault Ends over the Abyssals, given the fact the Abyssals can be a pain in the ass, especially when you get a really, really uh, bad group that just basically face palm on Eris, Oculus, and Array Provisor. Meanwhile, Vault End normal, you know, it's pretty easy to get a Ray Group as well. And then at 1430, which I believe is probably going to be a sweet point for most of you, is that the 1430 is probably going to be a sweet point where most of you are going to stop, given the fact that you've got Vikers, takes five successful homes to get up there, and you get about 9.3k per week. My recommendation is to stop at 1450, and then basically when it's other things for 1450, level up your support classes to 1430, and that's where you should stop and just generate all your gold, because getting an upgrade from 1430 to 1445 is only about a 1200 upgrade, which is not really worth that much per week compared to the amount of mats you have to spend to get up there. But anyways, what do you guys think? Put in the comments below, and hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll just let this run for a few extra seconds so you can just keep the cheat sheet up here, provided by Reddit. Thank you, guys. Bye. Also, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video.